Jake Ludington here at Discover 2015 in London, and I'm here with Brent Allen. And you guys recently announced a partnership with Intel uh, around high-performance compute. Can you talk a little bit about what that is? Absolutely, I would love to. Um, so uh, here about uh, six months ago, we um, signed an agreement with Intel starting up a high-performance computing alliance um, where each of us would bring to bear new technology that we're developing. So in the case of HP, that's a lot of our um, systems that are optimized for both high-performance computing as well as big data. Um, on the Intel side, there are a number of technologies and advancements that they have, um, both current and coming. So. Um, there's their Omnipath architecture. Uh, we're looking at um, non-volatile memory uh, in accordance with them. We're also working on uh, a variety of things around taking their SSDs to do burst buffering um, and also uh, their Phi architecture as that uh, continues to evolve over the course of this next year. Um, and we're looking at all of these things in the context of specific industry verticals. So um, it's really kind of a new initiative for HP in many ways um, because we're looking at, um, we're, we're starting with three key verticals where we have uh, very strong customer relationships already. Oil and gas, financial services, and the healthcare and life sciences. Um, and so think of it kind of as a trifecta. There's HP and Intel um, bringing our combined sort of um, uh, abilities to bear, but also then incorporating leaders from each one of these industries um, in their own right. And we're working collaboratively with them to advance solutions specific to their needs. So in the case of uh, oil and gas, for example, we're looking at how we can develop systems for next generation seismic, um, how they can look at formations in different ways, um, how they can then take that and do remote visualization to help their engineers that may be sitting on platforms in the North Sea or in the Gulf or you know wherever, and then collaborate, use that uh, information in 3D models, collaborate with other people that may be in other parts of the globe. Um, for example, in financial services, we're looking at ways that we can harness the power of social media and all the big data that's being collected there, take that and roll that into HPC models that actually help to provide predictive analytics um, of where the market is trending and how things are, are progressing in the market. And a lot of the uh, trading houses are, are very interested in where that will lead and go. So, so for these examples, how is this different than, say, um, like Converge Systems has, has talked about having like workload optimized systems. Is this, is this the same kind of a thing or is this, well, how you is know, it different? It's very different because a lot of our uh, converged uh, systems, our converged infrastructure is really, uh, really directed at enterprise type applications for more of the IT back end. What we're looking at here is more on the discovery and innovation side, um, specific to high performance computing and big data, and the combination of the two in the form of high performance data analytics. And the reason that this is important is because um, in many of these industries, they're looking for how they make the next level of discovery. No longer can um, companies kind of trip over new discoveries and just find new ways to do things. They realize now that they have to take um, all of this data that they're starting to collect, break that down, analyze that to be able to uncover new ways to do things, uh, to be able to make new advancements. A great example is in genomics, um, where uh, not only are we looking at how do we uh, bring down the overall price of processing uh, the human genome, but how do we use that in different ways to be able to drive that into more personalized medicine and application specific to help do things like cure cancer and uh, you know many of the big hairy things that are um, plaguing the world today. So have there been any sort of uh, key learnings that uh, this, this Hewlett-Packard Enterprise and uh, Intel partnership has brought about? Absolutely, and I think that uh, going back to having these collaborations I think is, is a key to that uh, because um, while we understand the technology from HP and Intel very, very well, it is those customers that are on the forefront of their own industries that really understand the applications and use cases to a T and what their code base looks like. So bringing together all of these different forces enables us to create something that is truly specific and is helping these customers to make these next leaps. Um, and I think it's, it's a different way of doing things than what we've done before. The expectation um, as part of these collaborations is that uh, our collaboration partners will also uh, be um, public references for us and um, you know things like that. Um, so the next time we talk, I'm sure that we'll be able to have perhaps even some of those customers uh, with us. Um, but as we're going down this, uh, this track, it also means that um, we can take what we've learned 
and we can roll those into more general available reference architectures um, and provide those to a wider range of people inside of the industry. Um, and uh, you know that's really the direction that we're headed in this specific area. Um, certainly, to your other point, we can't really create hardened systems in this space because there are so many different needs for customization. But the target here is to be able to track and show performance as well as scalability inside of these reference architectures and to allow them to live within the industry and to adapt as needed uh, for each individual customer. So there are you know, minor uh, adaptations that may need to be made from one customer to the next as they roll into their data center, as they roll into their overall IT plan. But the, this side, the innovation side, is, is definitely different than maybe some of the back-end IT supporting uh, operations. If you look at uh, Discover here, you see um, a big theme around Accelerate. Um, and I think that is a very fitting theme because one of the big things that we're focused on doing here is accelerating discoveries, accelerating um, you know, cures for things, you know, I mentioned cancer, but it could be Parkinson's or, or other things like that. Accelerating how we do uh, next generation discovery uh, for energy, for example. You see Shell on the floor here uh, with us today. Um, there are a number of different companies that are, are looking at how do we go to this next level of discovery and really and truly that, that sits at the heart of uh, this combination of uh, big data and um, high performance computing. Um, and I think that as we go over the next you know, five to 10 years, you're also gonna see another portion that really comes in full swing is around IoT, the Internet of Things. So it's kind of, it, it, it will be evolving into this kind of continuum of Internet of Things where sensor data is collected. That sensor data then moves into a data lake um, which really is sort of the, the bastion of big data, um, also paired uh, from an archiving perspective with perhaps like object storage. Um, and then those, the, the next step beyond that is the high performance computing uh, portion, uh, where you see many of the advancements that we've made in elevating the x86 architecture and uh, performance and acceleration there. All of those th three things together really get it from the, the raw information all the way through what comes out the other side, which is not only decision support, making choices, but also understanding trends and patterns and being able to get to new innovations. And uh, you know, it, it's really an exciting time for all this stuff coming together. I, I look forward to seeing what you're going to accelerate uh, come, <laughs> come the next discovery. Absolutely. <laughs> so good to you for the next conversation. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Brent.